Inhaler treatments in childhood asthma, one of the most important things that we must consider, first of all, is making a correct diagnosis to ensure the child in front of you truly does have asthma and requires inhalers. Once that is established, then um, the treatment certainly as maintenance therapy for asthma should be regular inhaled corticosteroids. Um, and these need to be given regularly daily, but with the most appropriate device. And in childhood, both in infancy and in childhood, the treatment should be given with metered dose inhalers and spacers. It's critical that the correct device and a spacer is used. There is no role really for nebulized therapy at home for maintenance therapy. It should be an MDI and spacer. And the other thing to consider in the context of, the sp of a spacer in early life, before the age of three or four, certainly the spacer would require a mask, but subsequently from the age of four onwards, the spacer should be used just with the mouthpiece. So an MDI and appropriate spacer, but beyond the age of four years with a mouthpiece rather than um, a mask. And the other most important thing to consider about inhalers in the context of asthma is to ensure adherence parental education to make them understand why their child needs an inhaler, why their child needs an inhaler regularly, daily, is really, really important to make sure that they will take the treatment regularly. Assessments of ad adherence to medication are really important before we, we decide that the treatment isn't working and before we consider stepping up at all for asthma treatments, we have to get the basics right. And the basis, basics include adherence to treatment, ensuring adherence to treatment, parental education to make them understand why their child's taking the inhalers and which inhalers they're taking, and at each appointment teaching the children and going over the medication and the device and the technique at each appointment to ensure the inhaler is taken properly so that it is effective.